Have you ever been lost in the wilderness looking for a hot date, but you can't because you just smell so bad? Trying to hold back this feeling for so long. And if you feel like I feel. What's the answer? Soap! Today we're going to show you how to make soap in the wilderness. Okay. The two main steps necessary to creating soap are leaching and saponification, and the three basic materials we, we will need are lye, lard, and water. The leaching of the water will create lye water, and the saponification or heating of the lye-lard mixture will create soap. To make the soap, you first have to create lye water. Lye water is essentially just potassium hydroxide, a very basic alkali substance that's necessary to the rest of the overall reaction water, you want to begin with water of a nearly neutral pH, so remember to go gather some rainwater. Then you will need to create a filter. Our filter included a container with a hole poked in the bottom filled with a layer of rocks, a layer of sand, and a layer of ash that allowed the water to drip into a cooking pot. Ashes gathered from a cooking fire are perfect. Here we had to break up the ashes into smaller pieces so that they could probably be used in the filter. Now we're going to begin leaching our water to create lye water. So get whatever container you're using over top of your campfire, the filter you've just made with your ashes, and a, a large cup of rainwater and or water you've gathered from a stream. Brandon. We're going to begin pouring our water through the filter. Ooh, it's steaming. Slowly. If your ashes begin to swim, you are going too fast. Begin pouring your water through the filter slowly. So the water exiting the filter is a brownish gray lye water. Do this with approximately three liters of water. If I leave in the beach, may I finish a summertime. Hey, every man say, baby, come along. Go feel your sun tan in the summer sun. If you want to bleach, go back home. Go feel your umbrella for the sun above. After you've obtained your lye water, begin heating your cooking pot over your campfire until approximately half of the lye water has evaporated. Next, take the condensed lye water you've been boiling and mix, it, mix in about one cup of lard and anything you wish to scent your soap with. Today, we've decided to use lavender essential oils, but you can use anything you'd like to and is available to you in the wilderness. Let this mixture boil for approximately 30 minutes before you pour it into the mold. A couple of things important to note. Any fatty acid can be used in this reaction. All lard is, is animal fat that has been rendered. The process of rendering just requires the fat to be cut up into smaller pieces and then boiled, but essentially the only important part is the fatty acid. Therefore, you can use lard, oil, or pure animal fat to make your soap, whatever is available to you in the wild. Also, the glycerin that results from the reaction stays in the bar of soap and is actually very nourishing to your skin. We now let this mixture of the lye water, lard, and lavender boil for about 30 minutes before pouring it into the mold. After you pour your soap into its molds, it will take two days to fully dry. The soap that we have just created can be used to wash your body, hair, and your clothes. Ultimately, the soap will be created through a neutralization reaction. This involves the combination of an acid and a base to form a salt and water. In the case of saponification, the base we're using is the potassium hydroxide, or lye, because it's very alkali, and the acid, or rather fatty acid, we're using is the lard, or triglyceride. These will combine to form a soap, and the glycerol from the fatty acid will result in the formation of glycerin. So now that you understand the chemistry and reactions behind it, you may be asking yourself, how does the soap actually work? Soap works in cleaning it because it's composed of a molecule with one hydrophilic end and one hydrophobic end. In this case, the molecule is a potassium fatty acid salt. 
The part with the fatty acid tail is attracted to the oil, which attracts dirt, and therefore the soap acts as an emulsification agent. The hydrophobic tails surround the hydrophobic oil droplets, pulling them off your body and suspending them in water. This allows the oil droplets to become mixed in with water and easily removed from your body, hair, and clothes.